All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. I almost forgot that I don't want to leave just yet. I want to find a vendor or a vending machine or something and sell some shit. So I do believe this dude sold stuff. Hey, thanks again for helping out. What can I do you for? Yeah, no problem. Uh, trade, please. Let me just uh, sell some stuff. So, take, sell that. Wait. Oh, yeah, sell junk. This is six, nine sixty. So, that can go to. Um, this revolver can go, and then a bunch of armor to sell, so we want to sell this, this, that, this, this, that. Uh, what are we down to? 236 instead of 270. So, Radio Free Monarch, okay, okay, so, this way. Oh shit, I just remembered we got that Vicar Max uh, companion mission to do down on the planet, but we'll do that soon. Alright, here we are. This is gorgeous, oh my god. I have a feeling though something large and dangerous is going to try to eat us, though. Look at these bioluminescent spores. This is awesome. Look up. That makeshift bridge, we gotta cross it. First we go under, then hook around to the left, then up and over. Never a day without some fights. Oh my god. Good, we're good. Maybe a little dented, maybe a little bruised, but we're good. Here we go. There we go. Who's getting, oh. Actually, no, I should probably get to a workbench first before I replace all their, oh my God. Tunnel here. Up there. So we're going through here, like she said. And this is going to take us upward.
Ah, oh, shit. That's a big one. We can tiptoe around to the left or go in guns blazing. Yeah. Up to you. We're gonna go I this vote way. The ladder. Yeah. We're gonna go this way. The hell? Look up. What's he doing up there? Who? I didn't see anybody. So we're, we're just gonna see. We'd make it in one piece. Stationing yeah, too right. far now. Hey, you! Get over here! There are marauders up ahead! Who the hell oh, said that? No. How the hell did marauders navigate the caverns? Under Hiram's home. <laughs> this station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Because me and my sunshine? That's my gun, if you were wondering. We don't take kindly to marauders. So why aren't you dealing with them up there? Hmm. Reckon that sounded far too coherent for a marauder. That's good. Otherwise I'd have to kill you. Yep, definitely. You're clear. But I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. Uh, what are you doing up here? I take it you ain't met the other C3s. No. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. There is nothing I'd enjoy more. But the C3s play it by the book. Usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. Okay. So, what? That's the broker. She said by the archway. I don't know what archway she's talking about. Let me see. Let's take a look at the map. Um, abandoned relay station. Where did the hell did she say they were? Yeah, that's the cave entrance. She said down here, right? Down the path. Ah, here. Oh god, look at his glorious mustache. How'd you get up here? Through the caves? Well, that's unfortunate. For you, I mean. Cause see, the thing is, I'm with the corporate compliance crew. C3, if you will. We're mercs. And our current contract mandates that we annihilate any creatures or persons that emerge from the tunnel. Allow me to intervene. It's my job to mediate any conflicts of interest regarding C3 and third parties. All right, first things first. To make a decision in this dispute, I'm gonna need to know what your role in your organization is. I'm not part of an organization. A lean but efficient corporate structure. I'm impressed. Still, I gotta wonder, what are your intentions regarding Devil's Peak Station? That is why you've wandered out here, I presume. Uh, Joy sent me to talk to you. Never heard of Devil's Peak Station. I need to speak with the information broker. Well, that's all well and good, but the reason you've come is secondary to the arbitration at hand. 
Our guidelines allow us some leeway in identifying threats to our client. Your unorthodox profession makes me think we ought to remove you from the premises permanently. However, the terms of our contract specifically targets marauders, iconoclasts, MSI operatives, and anyone deemed to hobo-like in appearance. <laughs> As you don't appear to fit any of those categories, I'm afraid I can't quite make a call on you. Don't we, as a standing policy, provide an alternative to termination via financial restitution? Addy, our chief financial officer, could confirm, but I'm betting if you're willing to compensate us for our lost time and productivity due to this arbitration, you could pass. I guess we might could. There's something I like about you. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I'd rather have you with us than against us. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. Lance, unless you have a final point of contention to make, I'd say she's clear to go. Nah, I'll sign the clearance form. Dear Just, Lord. I must advise you to steer clear of Devil's Peak Station. Excuse it's me. teeming with marauders. I've been told. Anything else you need? Trying to say we didn't do our job? I'll have you know, our contract was to stop any marauders coming from the caves. It didn't say nothing about the ones taking the mountain path. We'll simply clear them out later, once we've got the go-ahead from Berthold. That's right. Berthold Fox is our boss man, founder, president, and CEO. Bertie went down into the caves on a hunt for marauders, give or take, six hours ago. He's a hands-on type. Likes to handle the tougher tasks himself. Although, he should have been back going on six hours now. I'd ask you to check the caves for him, but then we'd have to kill you when you crawl back out. Uh, forgetting about Berthold, uh, we've got to, to clear out the station. You're going to kill Berthold if he returns from the caves too? Look, much as we'd like to slaughter some marauders, we can't act unless it's on orders. And those come from the boss man. If marauders uh, kill your client, you won't get paid. Now that won't hold. There's nothing Bertie hates worse than a dead client. The broker's a real paranoid type. I'd wager my keenest knife he's got the place on lockdown. Booby trapped. Add the marauders and we'll be walking into a veritable death gauntlet. So it ought to be fun. You find a way to jimmy the front door and we'll clean house on the main level. I'll wire ahead to Joy and Hudson for support. All right, C3s, prepare to head out. And that's how you per convince a bunch of idiots to help you slaughter a bunch of uh marauders. Got it. Heads down. I have no clue what Thunder does. But we'll see. Easy. All right, what does it do? Where is it? Oh, wow. Versus... Nah, this is still better. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what is, uh... What's that? Broker. Joy. Alright, we're gonna go tell her that she can support us. And we'll just blaze on through like the hammer of the gods. There you are. Bossman said you'd be up this way. I always wanted to poke through a high gain wireless. <coughs> Fox radioed ahead. Said I'm to follow you. Provide whatever support you need. If those bastards start shooting, we'll join in. I gotta warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger happy. Of course, me and her will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. Sounds good. 
Uh, happy your guns trigger. Happy are you? Ain't it the same, really? I'd say me and my piece meet each other halfway on the issue. She likes to be used, and I like to put her to good use. As so very often as I can. Oh god, I hope you die. We can tell friend from foe, mind you. But it's probably best not to walk directly in front of us. Well, like with any gun. You're A-OK, -okay, stranger. Hear that, Hudson? It's payday. to have a little extra support. Is somebody hitting me? Yes. Music sound real familiar for some reason. Oh, my God. Let's just look up here for anything. Nope. Clear. Hiram clear. must have sealed the door. He's he spooks easy. I mean, he was also surrounded by bandits, so I'm okay with that. All right, we're in. We're good to go. You may not realize this, being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. <laughs> Oh shit! Now let's see if they got any ammo just lying around. Oh, this door Here's must be the sealed. elevator, but ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Oh, we'll find one. He may be twitchy and uh, paranoid, but I'm sure he hasn't locked down all the exits and entrances. He's got to leave an escape route for himself. There's red dots everywhere. Where the hell are they? We'll see. All right, Hiram. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. <laughs> also, she hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant... 
chicken problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purple berry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of The Broker being a dumbass alternative. <laughs> what? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. Oh, now they'll take action. It's about time, I tell you. I'm up to my neck and marauders in here, which, by the by, they were supposed to prevent. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. Okay. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job, permanently. Aside from the bits I'll be paying you, you said you wanted something from me. Something information related. I'll give it to you, in person, once I'm safe. Sounds good. Okay, so that door was out here. Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. Ready, girls? Let's wipe them out. Death taxes are coming for you. What? Death and taxes are coming for me? So he's got friends in here? Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. So where did those two go? That's the last of them, I think. Oh, there's David Anderson. Where'd the other one go? Oh, and she's dead too. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. And you got me my money's worth out of the C3s. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. Uh, think nothing of it. I didn't do it uh, out of the goodness of my heart, if you get my drift. Oh no, my business is in trade, not owing others the burden of a favor. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But, I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Told you I'm looking for certain information. Well, first, Nioka needs a favor. Oh, great. 
I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts, always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. <laughs> Look, sure. Okay. I was delayed by MSI and the Iconoclasts. The idiots were scrambling all transmissions to override each other's broadcasts. But as you've shut them down, I'm back in business. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Okay, Phineas uh, doesn't trust many people. How'd you hook up with him? You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose... Oh. Oh. Apologies. <laughs> you meant... Right. Yes. I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. Oh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Uh, that's it? You're not pulling my leg? Except it needs three keys before it'll activate, and I gotta go find them. Oh my god, they're parroting video games! Eternal, no. What is wrong with you? Who would ever design something like that? However, you're welcome to brew me a Rizzo Insta Coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. Sweet. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. If that's really all, let's just get it done with and be on our way. Sure. Don't burst a damn blood vessel. I'll give you... All right. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Oh, you're, you're kind of insufferable, aren't you? If I didn't need you, I might have let them kill you. This way? Okay, so I gotta fix that before I can begin broadcasting. Let's 
flip this switch and be done with it. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. There's no need to assert your dominance. I doubt I can make you do anything you don't wish to. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. But I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. Really? As Neoka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. Interesting, okay. Captain! Big flaming thingy! Oh no, what happened? Black holes! Did you see that? Yeah, what was that? Shit, now it's gonna be a mad dash for that, uh, for that, isn't it? Oh, I can just climb down like a normal human being. Oh, it's out past Cascadia. Alright, we'll see what comes about from this. Okay. There's the exit. And we're stalking, and we're stalking. Okay, we're good, we're good. No, no, no. Shut up, go away. Alright, so I think overall I want to give this to... Where the hell? Oh, damn it. Alright, screw it. Blah, 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 blah. I just want to get this gunship thing. Uh, the targeting module.
Yeah, but where am I currently? Okay, so the bridge. It used to be, you can get the best wine on Monarch here. I would have liked to see this place. Before. Keep moving. Oh my god. How do I get- okay, whatever. You know what? Shit. Okay, um... We'll get the fucking uh, targeting module when I get back, uh, when I return. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, Citizen the Empire. I hope you enjoyed, because I enjoyed having you. Um, if you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. I will see you all next time.